Muslim simply could not afford to pay for health care. His heart operation cost 13 times his monthly salary. Out of job for 8 months after a heart attack, he was being pushed further into poverty every day. Angiography hogi. When I had angiography, I was told I needed surgery, but I just couldn't afford it. Aslam is one of the 120 million people in Pakistan without health coverage. More than 40 million run the risk of health impoverishment. Faced with illness, they are simply forced to sell their assets or become indebted for life. When my mother's leg broke, we were all worried. We didn't know how we would arrange the money for the operation. When Sharifa was hit by a car, there was no way she could have paid for surgery. She was a domestic help and earned just $30 a month. Her son, a daily wage earner and the only other breadwinner, was also out of a job attending to her in the hospital. For them, debt was accumulating by the day. It can take months before poor people can secure financial assistance from public channels. Uh, and a very small minority is ultimately successful in the end. Many still end up selling their assets or becoming heavily indebted for life. And many, uh, I know of a lot of people who forego care. Um, there are women who are taken away from the hospital, bedridden for life, just because families cannot afford to pay for uh, hip replacements. When Aslam heard it will take four to five months to get assistance, he was certain he could never be treated. But he got lucky and was helped in 72 hours. When I learned about heart file, we applied and we got funding in two days. Many have been helped through this window. Heart file health financing protects people from medical impoverishment. The system is created in Pakistan by Dr. Sanya Nishtar, a strong health policy voice and a proponent of health reform. And it all began with the publication of a book, Choked Pipes, a roadmap for health reform in Pakistan, led the author thinking about practical action. I had two objectives in mind when I launched Heart File Health Financing. On the one hand, I, was, I wanted a practical entry point into health reform after having published Choked Pipes. Uh, but then on the other hand, I also wanted to serve an urgent humanitarian need because there were far too many people being pushed into medical impoverishment in my country. I only went to heart file once and gave my appeal. They promptly arranged for my operation. Hospitals in the Pakistani capital city Islamabad and neighboring Rawalpindi cater to over 40 million people. They need procedure, they need the well, they need bypass, they need a pacemaker, they need some other device, you know, we need to open up their mitral well and the devices are, are not available, they can't afford to buy them and we're waiting for Bath mal and that's taking a long time and in the interim they get unstable, sometimes they die. These days, you know, it is unfair to treat uh, a fracture with uh, a plasters which can be treated with implants. But unfortunately, as I say, the implants are expensive and that hampers uh, the uh, treatment of the patient, you know, if he can't afford. And at that stage, obviously, uh, we need help from uh, the hospital, which does not provide implants. The hospital provides a bed, a surgeon, medicines, but the implants, they don't provide. So that has to be bought. And, uh, you know, we seek the help of the heart file in that case. Nishtar designed a technology-enabled mobile health integrated social protection system which could be accessed by healthcare workers to seek financial assistance for their patients. The system was linked to the country's database registration authority through which personal details could help identify the poor. She also set up a small fund committing the royalty of her book through which cash transfers could be made. Donors started contributing to the fund and health providers started requesting help on behalf of patients. Help is quick timely, transparent and gets to the needy. No need for lining up, no need to visit offices, requests can be made online and by SMS. Files are not lost as request tracking is enabled by technology. There are no personal preferences, no record tampering. Poverty is assessed by trained volunteers and through the database. We turn around decisions in 72 hours. 
and we do that transparently. The patient's decisions are reviewed daily in the meetings. Donors have full control over their donations. They can earmark the utilization of their donations. They can track the patients who are being assisted through their personalized web page. They get real-time SMS and email alerts every time their money is touched. So they can track every penny of theirs. If we had applied anywhere else, it would have taken two to three months. But with Heartfile, we got assistance in two days. Not just in Pakistan, but in many countries around the world where poor people run the risk of financial ruin, hospitals can benefit from this model. You're doing such a good job and you're doing it in such an organized way. And, you're, and it's so transparent and so accountable that I wish the government would go through you. At least, you know, they, would, they should give a fourth of the zakat or, or half the zakat funds to you because you can show them the results. What started as a small pilot project is now being scaled up in Pakistan. Sanya Nishta was recently prized the Global Innovation Award based partly for her work on this project. As she commits the accompanying monetary award to a fund, we celebrate an opportunity for millions of people for whom protection from medical impoverishment can become a reality. Sometimes all it takes is a few thousand rupees to make a difference in someone's life. The difference between life and death, between health and disability.